Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. Yes, we're on Sky Factory 2.5. I've done a lot in between episodes. We've got a lot to do in this episode, and I've only got a lot to show you. So let's get straight to it. All right, since last episode, let me climb up and show you what we've been up to. I'll turn on my F1 in just a second. Basically, down there, um, I've added two more crucibles for more lava. And I think I added an extra generator. I think we only did two last time, so I added an extra generator. Um, because we need more power. <laughs> more power. More power. And this is all the resources I've gotten. It doesn't look like much, but, you know, that's 45 blocks of iron. Nine blocks of gold. Just That's a lot. Um, it's really been running really well. It's been been pretty carefree. I'm an extra at an extra level up here on the wall and I did that by throwing the bricks in here you throw cobblestone in here and I believe every two cobblestones you get one brick you need four bricks per one of these things so it, it's, it's a lot of cobblestone but it's a lot easier than using the grout at version and I moved my sieving tables over here and I got these chests and I'll explain those to you in just a minute and obviously I got two more hammers going we originally just had this little section here, the one hammer and the one sieve. Now I added two more hammers, and I'll explain that real quick. In the last episode, I don't think I explained the sorting that well. Basically, when you go through, whatever's in this chest will not pass by this. So it comes out of here and goes through. If it sees it here, it puts it in here. If it doesn't see it, it keeps on going. And then it'll end up over here, where it goes into our Tinker's Construct. So this is very important. So we need at least one of these one of each of these in here at all times that way when we sort out right now we are doing powder or dust so it'll look in here and this is the excess that I have so this is the stuff I'll definitely throw in the chest right here this is my dust chest this is everything I've collected from the dust this is my sand chest this is everything I've collected for sand and then if when I'm running sand I'll throw these back into the um, what do you call this thing the um, auto compressor and then this is, of course, the gravel. So we, we're doing okay. We got 22 diamonds. I expected more. Yes, you don't get ender pearls, but this is my safe place for ender pearls. That seems to be one of the highest commodity things that I have to get, and one of the hardest things. So I keep checking over there. And also, um, one of my looting bags, I was able to get some ender lily. So I'm actually growing them over there. It looks like I got one harvest. So that is how this works. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit. Yeah, you know what that. I'm going to move this out later once we put all our machines in the middle. We have now two hammers. That way, we'll feed the cobblestone. Let me go ahead and show you. We'll feed the cobblestone right into here, and it'll break it first into gravel, and then the gravel comes into this one, and then it breaks it into sand, and it'll go into here, and then the sand breaks into dust, and then it gets sieved. Let's see if we can see one come through. Um, I had it empty because I got enough stuff right now. But it's not like I don't need to run it. There it goes. It's, it was sieved it so fast that you didn't even see it. But that's that's how it works. So if you decide, okay, I had enough dust. I'm gonna, you take that and you bring it up here. And let's go ahead and break this one off. Now if this is a straight line, it would be a lot easier to do. But since I'm limited in space, I have to break it off. Alright, so now we're going to take this here and bring it up and bring it over and right now let's get my stick out we can decide if we want to do sand or if we want to do um, gravel and it depends if I take this one here and turn it off and take this one here and turn it off we are now doing we'll start getting gravel in here and you'll start seeing gravel load into this thing there it goes there's the cobblestone so now we got gravel okay make sense now if we decide we want sand, we'll turn that one off, and it, this one will start producing sand, and it's going to stop in here, well, actually it's going to make gravel, and then the gravel is going to come over here, and go into, and right now it's going over here, and this should be filling up, whoops, I don't want to hit that, there we go. This should start filling up with gravel until there's room for this to go in here, because there's cobbles going, just take that out, and you'll see the gravel go in. Do, do, do. Should see the gravel go in. Oh, it might be because I hit it with a stick. There we go. There we go. Now you see the gravel going in. 
So it's all how you manipulate it. If you have it coming in here first, you're going to get powder or dust at the end. You have it coming in here first, it's going to get uh, sand. If you have it coming in here first, you're going to get gravel. That makes sense? All right. So that is how our little station works. We can walk away from this, and you're all fine to go. And right now, if you're just curious, we'll end up getting, uh, let's see, uh, sand will be what we'll end up sieving at the end here. So... Yeah, it, it works. Oh, I should turn that one off, but it doesn't really matter because if it feeds in here, it'll just store up. But it's using power, so we'll just hit it with this a few times. There we go. Now it won't feed, feed in. All right. We are going to work the rest of the episode over there on our farm. Right over there. Um, I've done a lot in between episodes, and we are going to build a farming station, but <laughs> there's a lot to that. All right, let me get over there, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back to my beautiful farm. Isn't it just wonderful? Yeah, that's uh, not much of a farm, is it? <laughs> All right, so let's get started. What we are going to do is we're going to talk about, this is fairly important to me. I want to get these uh, mementos uh, and the magic crops going real soon in the game. This has actually taken me a while to get this far. Each one of these is eight of the mementio seeds. Let me show you how to make them. Our mementio essence, yeah. Um, and you take that and you wrap around a um, seed and you get a mementio seed. Um, and they take a little while to grow. Um, there are tricks to making them grow faster. Let's go ahead and put this one right, I guess right here now. Um, there are tricks to making them grow faster. We haven't gotten to that yet, really. Um, sprinklers, there used to be lilies, but they don't have that in this game. There's also a thing called the watering can, which is really cool. Bone mill doesn't work on them. But you can sit here and you can you can water them and they it does make things grow a little bit faster. I see if I can get any growth. There's some growth there. Um, and it does help. See, we're getting a bunch of them growing right now. Let's see if I can get any of these here. And if you get bored, um, I, I did just a few minutes ago because it was raining and I like to wait till the rain stops to do these episodes. I sat here and I just walked around and uh, I grew a bunch of this. So I almost uh, got about a third more, but that's if you got time permitting. But it does help. The water can is the easy recipe. Uh, so I'll show it to you real quick. Water can. There's two recipes. Don't get excited because it's really cheap. Nope. This only works in peaceful mode. This all it takes is four pieces of iron and a bowl and a piece of bone meal. And then you got to dip it into the water and fill it up. So it's really simple to make and really well worth it. But if you get time, you just run around and get this. But the problem is, I want these seeds harvested as soon as they mature. So we are going to build something called a farming station. I'm going to put it right here in the center. And I went ahead and grew this a little bit bigger. It's 11 by 11 actual partial, but so it's 13 by 13. The dirt's 11 by 11. Because the farming station, when we do an upgrade on it, will go to 11.11. 11 and we'll be able to harvest this. I'll get rid of the wheat because I don't need that right now. It's more about the magical crops. And that is what we're going to work on. All right, here's what we need. I got everything down below. I created a new power station down here. Um, as soon as we get bigger and more power, I'm planning on running the power here and not having it all in different locations, but I don't have all the stuff we need for it. And this is relatively cheap to make, so I just went ahead and built you know, another station here. All right, here is what... No, not there. Don't look at that. Here is what we need for today's episode. I do need some more leadstone flux duct to, to run the power. Um, I have some right here already. Let's go ahead and get that. I got three of them here. So let's go ahead. I got this makes three more sets. That should be plenty to run from here to the middle of the farming station. And that is the plan. And then we're going to build several things today. One is going to be an alloy furnace. The other thing is going to be, you see, well, I can't remember how you say it. Uh, splice and dice. Splice. P L I. Yeah, there is. Splice, no, slice and splice. Yeah, I like that one. It's all about mob stuff. Um, we're going to build an upgrade for our farming station and this stuff for our farming station that we need here. So this is all the materials that we need for today's episode. Um, some of it looks familiar because we used some of it earlier in the... Um, I forgot what, we, um, what do you call that thing we used earlier with to make the sulfur? I can't remember what it is, all right, but you know what I mean. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to make is the alloy furnace because we have to have an alloy furnace to make the farming station. And so here is the alloy smelter. So we're going to use that. Let's go ahead and show the recipe here. We have three furnaces, which is really simple. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. 
we all know how to make furnaces. I don't even know why I'm showing that on camera. And we'll put that here for now. And then we need a crucible, which I already got pre-made. If you don't know how to make it, basically it's a U-shape of iron. And that's all there is to it. And then we got four blocks of iron, which we'll use those. We'll put those over here for now. And then inside here, we're doing a machine. You see what is it? Machine chassis? 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 Whatever. Um, which we need iron bars. Let's go ahead and show the recipe here. Iron bars, which we already have pre-made, but if you don't know, it's just iron. And the, that's a two by three iron. It's really simple. This is from the last thing that we did. And let's see what else we need. We got four more pieces of iron. There we go. We got that. And then we need to make these things. This is the resistor, I believe. This is my basic capacitor. Basic capacitor. Which is basically copper and some redstone and some gold nuggets. All right. We're going to do three, actually four sets because one of them is for the upgrade. So let's go ahead. Actually, the upgrade has two by itself. So let's go ahead and make all those capacitors at the same time. And by the way, how I'm going to do that, so I'm going to hit shift and then when I click on this thing, I mean hit shift and then I click that, it'll automatically put the materials in there for us. So that gives us enough to make five of these things. All right, so now we got that done. And just go ahead and put this stuff back over there because actually now I think about it, it's probably better that way. I don't know if it'll hit shift out of those there or not, but I don't want to try it. All right, now we need to make the five the I think it's three chassis three of these machine chassis so I'm gonna hit shift and question mark and it'll automatically put the stuff in here from our chest one two three so now we got three of those these two again are going to be used for the upgrade so we'll leave those in this area here all right so now we have everything we need to build the alloy furnace let's go ahead shift question mark again it puts everything right in there whoops I took it out so now we have our alloy smelter all set and ready to go I'm going to go ahead and stick that up here. Let's see. I guess right here will be fine. Um, it will go ahead and start powering, which will be nice. I'm going to go ahead and start the power from here because we're going to need one more machine on the side here and it is needing to be powered. And that way it's also getting powered from both generators. There we go. All right, next thing we need to do is the splice and dice. Slice and dice. Slice and. Slice and. Slice and splice. Splice and, yeah, you got it. Now this stuff's going to take some solarium. And solarium is, is um, let's see if I can show you. Here you go. It's soul sand and gold. Okay. So soul sand, I'll, I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to need seven of these because I'm going to need it for some more from later. And gold. We'll leave the gold here for now because we'll come down here and make it in just a minute. Basically, we need soul sand, and since the nether doesn't have any soul sand, we have to make it ourselves. So you ask, how do you make it yourself? I don't have any of the seeds on me. Hold on, let me go over to my um, sieving area, and I'll be right back. All right, you're interested in how to make soul sand. Well, this is it. This is the uh, mushroom, my, let's see, mycelium? I can't say things. I am so sorry. But basically what you do, I'm going to put it over here, that way it doesn't combine with this one. So you put some dirt, and you get this from sieving sand, I believe it is, the ancient spores, and you just right-click on it, and it actually makes it. And then you take a, bu um, what, a barrel and fill it with water, and it's go, let's go ahead and get some of the sand and put it in here. That way I can show you. And there you go. I got some soil sand. Now we're going to fill it with water, and it will automatically convert this water into what they call witching water. I believe it's called witching water. Yeah, witch water. Which we're also going to use later to convert skeletons into, um, I can't think what they're called right now. My brain's gone blind. The the black skeletons, you know, the ones that you find in the uh, nether. All right, but basically it makes witching water, and then you put sand into the witching water, which makes soul sand. Yes, I know everyone's going to make comments below that I can't remember the name of the damn skeletons, but that's okay. You try videoing and try to think at the same time. Sometimes your brain just doesn't work. I might as well put two more blocks. Now, you can't pick this up unless you have a... Um, well, you can, I can pick this up, dirt. But you can't pick this up unless you have a silk touch, which we don't have yet. But you can already see it's turned into so, um, witching water. And now we have our soul sand. Soul sand. Soul sand. All right. So we just take our soul sand and our gold. Not there. Here. We're going to take our soul sand and our gold, which we've got seven of each, and 
the thing here is you got to be careful. You put soul sand in here, it will automatically turn into glass. So don't do it first. Now there we go. I had that experience before. I lose all the soul sand. I have to go back and make it. So now we are making the what, splice and slice. What do you call this stuff? Um, solarium. All right. So now that's going. Let's go ahead and make some shears and axes. And we already got the machine chassis made, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and make. We're actually going to need two of these because we're going to need it for something else too. Where are my iron? I'm missing some iron. I wonder if it stole it when I did the axe. So I probably did. So we need two axes and we're going to need two um, shears. So we got one, two. Oops, one, two. I don't need those, sorry. And, oops, I had it all set and ready to go and then I just flubbed it all up, didn't I? And two of these. There we go. Let's see how this is coming. It's coming right on along. And let's see, what else do we need? Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the next thing we're going to make, which is going to be the actual farming station. And we need a hoe. We got that already. This is going to be made by a slice and dice and things. Um, this is pulsating iron nuggets, or pulsating iron. And to make that, what we need is, let's get back to here, click it again. There you go. Um, ender pearls and iron and the alloy smelter. So I got two ender pearls. Let's go ahead and take two of these irons and put it into here as soon as this gets done. So I'll be right back. All right, actually, we got five of these. Now we can go ahead and build the slice and splice thing. So let's go ahead and do that. We only need five for it. Slice and dice and. Uh, yep, we got everything we need for it. I didn't hit shift that time. We'll just do it manually We got our creeper head or our, yep creeper head. We'll put in there. We got our Axe and shears and our machine Chassis and now we have our slice and splice slice and splice splice. Ah, it's all right enough of that All right, so let's go ahead and get some power to it. There we go And now it is powering up we can go ahead and put an axe in here and the shears in here. And the recipe that we need off of that, let's go ahead and go back to the um, farming. And here we go. And we're going to build the Z locket control. So we need two more of those things which is coming, an ender head and silicone. Oh, I haven't done the silicone. So we need some silicone. How do you make silicone, you might ask? Well, you put... Where is it? It's right here. Da, da, da. Citrus cork dust, which we get when we sieve. We're going to put that in there. We'll get that made. That'll make silicon. Let's see how you come from here. You are done. So now we can put the iron and the ender pearl in there, which make the pulsating stuff. And we we'll need two of these. One. Two. Got two of those. Let's see where you put those. I think it automatically puts it in there for you. And need two of those. And we need a head. Another head. And what else was it you have to put in there? I guess look. Uh, some redstone. All right. So we need one piece of redstone. And put it in there. And it automatically just shift and click. It'll put it in there for you. And it is now processing that. We got that going. We got some more silicon going. We got pulsing at one we need one more it's just about done da, 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 da. drum roll please Boom. and there it is and now we're gonna take that and we're gonna break it down into nuggets so we got our nuggets so what do we need for this we need diamonds wrapped around it so we need two diamonds and the stuff wrapped around it and we get two of those there we go and let's go ahead and make we're gonna need a hoe you hoe. We got our hoe. And let's see, what else do we need for our farming station? We got the chassis. We got our hoe. Oh, we need electrical steel. How do you make electrical steel, you might ask? Well, let's see. Let's get that. There it is. Back to the alloy smelter. We need icon, um, iron, pulverized coal, which we got when we were getting our sulfur. 
how many silicon that we're doing now. So we need four of these. So I got four here. We need one more silicone. We got four there. How many four iron? Do I have my four iron? I am two iron short. So let me go grab two iron. So when you orig originally started, remember to add two iron to that. All right, I'll be right back. Damn it. All right, I have my four iron. We're going to put those in here. Let's see. I need that, that, and that. And it should start going. This is, takes a few minutes to go. We can go ahead and do we have everything now for this? Let's see. Question mark. Got that and that. We got that. We got this. Let's see what else do we need. We got up. Oh, it's done. Our Z logic controller. So we'll put that in there too. That goes in the bottom. So now we just need the iron. The what do you call it? The electrical steel excuse me and we'll be all set and ready to go with that while that goes we can go ahead and just check it see how it's going we got one out of the four we can go ahead and run our power over i guess let's go ahead and go here we'll break this out in the center because that's where i'm planning on putting it and yes i'm i'm planning on changing all this there's better stuff that I like to use. I'm going to get around that. And we'll get to that in later episodes once we get more power, more stuff. There we go. We, now i got our power all set and ready to go for our farming station. We're also going to need a hoe. I hadn't thought about that. A regular hoe. Um, let's just make a temporary. We'll make a temporary one in just a minute. Let's see. On to the last one. Let's see. Can I reach a crafting table from here? Uh, no, let's see, can I? Yeah. Oh man, I hate it when I do that. I just lost that piece. There we go. Just make a regular, I'll make a normal one later. A better one, one out of either diamonds or at least um, iron. We'll need that in a few minutes. Now we come in here, I think we're done. Yep. So we'll take that, we're going to put here, 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 and here. Now we have our farming station. Okay, let's go up top. And you're going to see all this stuff farmed out. You're going to see all that farmed out. It's going to be so cool. So we can walk away, basically. It's got power now, but it's not doing it yet because it doesn't have a hoe. So we're going to right-click on it. We're going to throw a hoe in there. If we can just double-click on it and automatically put it in there. And see, it's already starting to harvest everything. And it should harvest the stuff in just a minute. It didn't harvest that because we haven't had the upgrade yet, so we need to add the upgrade. That is the stuff, because originally it starts out at 7 by. 1, 2, 3, oh, I think 7 by. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 7 by 7. So we're going to add an upgrade real quick. Let's go do that. And this is the stuff we need for the upgrade and I'm trying to think what you call it now um, let's just do ender IO and I know what it looks like it is there it is right here a double layer capacitor a double layer capacitor doesn't that sound serious so we have the two extra capacitors we have the coal we just need this electric energetic who energetic alloy an energetic alloy is made like, let's go try it again. Um, again, it's gold. It's not, we're going to use the, oh, it's right there. Gold, redstone, and glowstone. Gold, redstone, and there we go. Everything we got right here. Do I have an extra piece of that for some reason? No, we'll see. Man. All right. So we're going to take that. Did I not take that up, put it in my inventory? Nope. That wasn't too smart. Gold. Glowstone and redstone. There we go. And just let that come down. We'll be right back. All right, we have our energetic alloy. Ooh, it's energetic, dude. And you see our recipe is right here. We could hit shift, but I'll do it the old-fashioned way. And there's why I have that. Okay, there we go. And the two of those. And now we have our upgrade, our double-layer capacitor. 
and let's go ahead and put that over here and you'll see that it will do the rest of the island or my little farm area I hope so I'll put the upgrade right where right here and yep, there it goes and should get this stuff too in just a second it's planting the extra stuff now it's taking time so it automatically plant according to what the seeds are in here so these aren't seeds because the seeds come here so it automatically will plant for you if you need it to and yep it harvested all that so we're all set and ready to go we can take this now um, later we'll have this automatically feed into either our IO system or into a to a chest over here that way we can just grab it automatically but this is excellent for now so we'll just take this we can make another seed and we'll plant it and it will get our garden a little bit bigger and as soon as you know it we will be full size this whole thing yay all right my friends that ends today's episode i hope you saw something you liked if you did make sure you give me a like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe again thanks for watching and have a great day bye guys